Rachel, our dearest friend, Alfred, myself and Lucius enjoyed her recitals. But one day, her parents decided to relocate far away. But Rachel gave me her number. How else would I stay in touch? With Alfred in the way, there was no way the teacher could see my phone. But she could hear it. I forgot to leave it on silent. Hope was lost. I, we lost Rachel. But then it hit me. I knew how to get it back. I knew what I had to become, to become the knight. Yet others disapproved. A day passed and Alfred found a letter. The where will help with what I say from where we've begun. Follow through the hallway and let's have fun. We thought the same thing, to return to the scene of the crime. The room, my phone, was confiscated. I have a spine, but no bones. My body is cold and pale, yet I'm always ready to tell a tale. A book. There it was to which Lucius was amused by. I asked, why are you laughing? He said, cold, because orcas usually live around the Arctic. I have a scroll, but no quill. I have a neck and ribs but no legs. I have a saddle, but no horse. I have a bridge, but no water. What am I? Violin. We figured to head to the music rooms to find the violins. But I opted for a more dramatic entrance. I am yellow, fading into blue. What should be mine belongs to you. It's Edward hiding in plain sight, because I was blind as a... Who wrote this? I was blind as a bat. Edward said he got the phone, but it wasn't my phone. Edward genuinely didn't know. I know who I am. I am not vengeance or a watchful protector. 
but to wear a mask means to protect those you love. A few days passed and I got a surprise. Maybe hope isn't lost. <laughs>